Welcome to this walkthrough of the column and embedded post modules, which are available in all levels of StruckCalc. This walkthrough will primarily focus on the column as a complete tutorial, and will then show you the differences in the embedded post. All modules in StruckCalc follow the standard design process with properties on the left, the design window in the center, and design information on the bottom. Output will appear on the right-hand side of the screen, along with adequacy information on the bottom. LRFD and ASD design are available. Here you can also select wet or dry factors. The first step you should always do is set your material, species, and grade combinations. Wood is based on the 2018 NDS, steel is based on the AISC 360-16, and structural composite and eye joists are always as up-to-date as possible based on manufacturer's public information. You can always check the available codes by looking under the project settings. First set all the properties in your design. Column, Size, Options, Factors, and Deflection. Under Column first set any eccentricity that you want for loads to be applied in both the X and Y directions. Next, you can either use the Auto Calculate feature for the buckling slash effective length factor, or they can be set from this selection design screen. You can also use the Auto Calculate feature for the stability factor or choose to set a custom value. The cantilever automatically cantilevers the top of the column. The calculators are all easy ways to calculate and add loads and are covered in their own video. It is important to note here the wall calculator allows adding up to three floors of loads above the column. Here also set spans and lengths. This design will be a two-span column. StruckCalc can make up to a three-span column. Then load the design. StruckCalc supports uniform loads, trapezoidal loads, point loads, axial loads, moments, and length loads. These loads can be applied in either the X, Y, or Z directions. Linked loads are covered in their own video. Loads can be entered in three ways, either from the left side where the designer must calculate the load magnitudes, through calculators on the right, or by switching to design view, which uses the old StruckCalc input methods to create live and dead loads that are locked to the design view. You can mix and match all three of these methods. I'm going to add an axial load in the Z direction. And then add a snow load in the Y direction. Note that when you add a load, you can set its combination type to live, roof live, dead, wind positive, wind negative, seismic positive, seismic negative, snow ice, rain, or earth. These can also be changed after you add a load in the lower toolbar here. You can also use this span tab to edit your spans. Now that my design is complete, I am going to use the auto size feature to determine if the beam passes as designed. I've selected my results and returned to my design where it has generated adequacies and VMD diagrams. Since I used the auto sizer, this is all going to be adequate. If I was doing the design iteratively on my own, I would probably need to investigate some failing adequacies and make some manual adjustments. Next, I will open the print preview to view my output and customize it for future printouts as part of my project. I can select diagrams and different views here. These will be saved for later and automatically used in the print preview for the print project. Now we will open the embedded post, and you will notice the only difference is you can set the details for the embedded part of the post. These include the footing dimensions, soil bearing pressure, whether a restrainment is being used, doubling the soil pressure, and changing the footing to round instead of square or rectangular. The design is the same as a column from this point, with the limitation that multiple spans cannot be added. After calculating an embedded post, you get additional design information with the required total length of the column, both above and below ground. 
Thank you for watching this walkthrough of columns and embedded posts in StruckCalc.